F5 WebSafe delivers web fraud protection that safeguards banks, e-retailers, and other organizations. It protects your online users from a broad range of malware and phishing-related threats across all devices and without impacting the end-user experience. The purpose of this demonstration is to show how you can operationalize the F5 WebSafe intelligence with a third-party risk-based authentication system to help reduce web fraud. For this demonstration, we will be using a demo bank application which sits behind an F5 Big IP system. F5 Big IP has already been configured to protect the login page with F5 WebSafe, again a fraud protection service that is completely transparent to both the end user and the web application. Our demo bank web application also uses a risk-based authentication system. Risk-based authentication system looks at additional context such as user's device, their location, and behavior to determine the risk and then challenge the user accordingly with additional step-up authentication. We will also use a PC which has been infected with a financial malware. Our end user, unaware of this, browses to this demo bank application. WebSafe and Time Malware component detects a malware on the end user machine and sends an alert to the Big IP system. The end user enters the credentials and continues to log in. Risk based authentication system sees that the user is logging in from a new device and challenges the user with additional step up authentication. The end user successfully answers a question and completes the authentication process. Our user looks at the transaction summary and then logs out. Please note that if the user logs in again from this known and authenticated device, he likely won't be challenged due to low risk. However, what's not visible is the Trojan, which stole the user credentials during the first authentication process and sent them to the control center. Let's take a look at the command and control center dashboard and see if the user credentials made it to the fraudster. This is the bot which corresponds to our user's PC. Let's take a look at today's reports. Let's take a look at the data that was captured during user authentication. And of course, here we can see the user credentials in clear. Wait a second. Do I see the response to the user secret question as well? Let's take a look. Sure I do. The answer provided by the user is absolutely in clear. This froster has done his research on this particular demo bank organization and he also knows that if he tries to log in from an unknown device or an unknown location, it is likely going to trigger another challenge which could either use a different secret question or could use a stronger out of band phone or SMS based authentication. The fraudster puts together a plan and decides to use the remote access capability of the Trojan to remote into end user's machine and do a fraudulent login from there. This would make the transaction appear to be coming from a known device, a known IP, known location, and it is likely that the risk associated with this login transaction would be low. However, what the fraudster does not know is that Demo Bank is leveraging F5 WebSafe solution and is feeding malware intelligence back to the risk-based authentication system to provide for real-time client visibility into malware-related threats. This would allow the risk-based authentication system to make use of this information in the decision-making process. Let's first examine the flow of events and how this integration could work. First, a fraudster connects to the legit user machine via Remote Connect. He then opens a browser and browses to the demo bank site. F5 WebSafe and Thai Malware component detects this activity and sends an alert for remote access Trojan. A fraud store then submits the login credentials. The web application validates the credentials and then makes a call to the F5 WebSafe alert server to check for any malware related alerts. In this particular scenario, the alert server responds back with a recent remote access Trojan alert for this particular user. The demo bank application then sends this alert information along with other required information to the risk-based authentication system. Although the device, IP, location, 
and other things checks out to be of low risk, the presence of malware results in an action of challenge or deny based on the policies defined within the risk based authentication system. Let's go back to our demo and find out what would happen when the fraudster tries to log in. This is the remote connect session to the end user machine. Fraudster opens a browser and then goes to the demo bank web application. F5 WebSafe and Time Malware component detects this activity and sends an alert for Remote Access Trojan. Let's quickly take a look at what this alert looks like. As you can see, WebSafe categorized this alert as red detected and not just as some generic Trojan. The intelligence from this alert can be used to fine-tune the authentication policies within the risk-based authentication system. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have created a new policy in our risk-based authentication system. This policy states that if red detected is true, then challenge the user even if the user is logging in from a known device, IP, and location. Let's go back and watch what happens when fraudster submits the login credentials. Seems like a bad day for the fraudster. He is challenged with a different secret question and is out of luck and cannot complete the authentication. Please note that for this demonstration we use secret questions. In a real world scenario, organizations will typically use stronger authentication mechanisms such as out of band SMS or out of band phone when a malware is detected. As you saw, F5 WebSafe can help you detect even the most advanced malware out there. F5 Alert Server provides for both pull and push APIs. This enables you to consume the alerts intelligence into real-time decision-making process. The end result is reduced fraud without impacting the end-user experience.